Is it the tender star of love? The star of love and dreams? Oh no, from that blue tent above, a hero's armor gleams. And earnest thoughts within me rise, when I behold afar, suspended in evening skies, the shield of that red star. It had been quite some time since I'd seen my folks, never been to New Atlantis myself, but they say good things about it, and they seem happy. And after all they've done for me, keeping them safe, keeping them happy there, and that's the least I can do. But this whole constellation thing, it's got me all worried I'm gonna bring them heat. All the same, if that artifact is worth a million, then those rich explorers must have credits to burn. And if Neon taught me anything, it's that I know a mark when I see one. Constellation, well, I might just be able to take them for all they're worth. There we go. One piece. Told you I wasn't gonna scratch her. Meet you outside, Vosco. <sighs> right. Uh, you know what? Could probably do without the suit. Leave it behind. Yeah. There we go. Much more comfortable. Everything should be fine, right? Leaving her here. New Atlantis is secure. As I was telling you, I haven't spent a lot of time in UC space. Landing port's clean, if that's anything to go off. All right, let's get to it. Hope the ride wasn't too bumpy. Tried to keep it steady coming through the Atlas. Oh. That'll be the engineer. Looking at maybe getting some pods, extra pods, missile pods. You, uh, disagree? We'll talk it over with your bosses. See what they think. Whew. Hell of a city. Need to come here for a long time. Go. Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory is uncanny. Name's Wyatt, by the way. And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Sure. All right. Just gonna check out that booth real quick. Got a few things to offload. Weapons, mostly. Suit or two. I'm sure your authority would have some use for them. The area's pretty active. Get a lot of ships coming through then, yeah? We'll free up your pad before long. Need some work done? Not just, uh... Not just yet. That's right. Like I said, mostly weapons. A couple of excess suits. More than a few guns. That'll do it. 8.5k. Alright. Meant to ask you, by the way. Just, uh, who are you and Barrett to Constellation? Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Only 10? Huh. Guess you're uh, used to all of this, huh? Little more security than I'm used to. You sick. Ned. That'll be what we're after, yeah? I'll check the scanner as well. It's working fine. 
ship computer's doing its job. So we're up there, somewhere. Good to know. Thanks. Look, there's a... Uh... Come on. This may be something you should know. Come on. You're gonna make me wait all day. Good. Like I was saying, I've got... I've got certain parties that are interested in me. Not Constellation. The kind that you don't want to be interested in. They've got eyes, ears, everywhere. And the fact that we made it through okay, it's a good sign. Safe enough for now. Let's, uh, keep a move on then, eh? There's something else as well. We've got folks here. Took a lot to get them here. To keep them safe, and I'd really like to keep it that way. They're a little different now. The relocation has been tricky to say the least, but they fit in maybe a little too well. Heck, you might have a chance to meet them. We'll see. All right. Ah, catching that then. All right. Moving on. <sighs> it's more than I imagined. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Mast. Right. It's where your uh, lodges. Okay. Well, to Mast then. Pretty quick. So we're under it then. The mast. It's not that I don't like how Let's have a look then. It's it's the optics of Oh yeah. That's the way. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. The free star well, it's not wrong. It's nice to feel rain. We just need to come Natural rain cycle. <sighs> it's good. Sorry, it's uh, been a while. That's the memorial. Seen grabs of it before. Flame looks uh, smaller. So are you talking to me? Brownouts. You mentioned they were on Hydro, yeah? Should be consistent. Why are they having power problems? Anyway, where's your lodge? Through the gardens. How scenic. Can't imagine the real estate's uh, cheap around here. I know how much some of it costs. Pioneer Tower. It's where they are. Doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm hoping this pays good. Surely got a... Heck, I got a ship for now. On loan. Maybe I can get more use out of it. Just gotta convince them. Not a bad structure. Taking that turn. Subtle. No big signs. Here we are. The lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. Okay. They will be waiting for us inside. Let's not keep them waiting too long then. The artifact. The sooner I have it off my body, the better. I'd like to know exactly what it's been doing to me. 
Okay. So the watch, right? Just like that. There we go. Captain Wyatt, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh. Right. Ridiculous. He's just met all huh. you really Hillary. So Armstrong and Yuri. They, uh, the like their explorers. You two keep going on like this, and I'm banning wages. I'm serious. We'll play nice. Shh. Just Hang a on. little friendly conversation, Sarah. That's all. Guessing that's the other members. All right. There you guys. G'day. I'm, uh, Wyatt. I assume not who you were expecting. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? He died. Horrific explosion. Decompression. I'm, uh, yanking a chain. Pirates attacked and Barrett asked me to deliver the, uh, Artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. Uh, All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. <sighs> Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? Let's. What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? You could, uh, say that. I, uh, described it to Barrett. Bright light and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience. With less embellishment. You hear embellishment? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? <sighs> but gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Sure. So you already have two. Barrett, get both of these. <sighs> All right. So just, um, on the table then. Just like the others. Yeah. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's okay. it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. Is this a bad thing? That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together... That means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Not us. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? What do you mean? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? I'd like to know more about that artifact. What they are. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. You won't be in constellation. What does that mean? 
what's expected of a uh, rock breaker like myself. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. So there's a bit of freedom. Still, this is a little much. I need time to clear my head. Fair enough, but you need a place to stay in the city, right? Yeah. Why don't you settle in here? We owe you that much. Come find me when you're ready. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Well, I'm uh, not going to say no. Thanks. Might just dumb. Um... Have a chat. Noel, was it? I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. Yeah, about that. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming now that I think about it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Noel, uh, Wyatt, I appreciate the concern. And yeah, I, uh, I am concerned. This, uh, vision I saw, what do you think that was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. Hello there, Brian. What you perceived as lights and music Walter could Stroud. be overloaded Tell neural input. You. Your brain's attempt to make no, sense of no, something. An Just energy a, surge, some other phenomenon. Phenomenon. That means it's shared then, right? Because Barrett saw something too. Keep up the good he did. Yes. At the time, well, it's I'm Barrett. Home. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. No. Now look, I'm, I'm no stranger to, um, let's just say, hallucinatory effects, but this wasn't random synapses firing, it was something else. Sure, I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. I wasn't there when it happened. I'm just thinking it through. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Right. How'd you, um... How'd you learn all this? You know a lot about these things, right? Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's... That's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah. Uh, Sarah mentioned a place to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. I appreciate it. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter's quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. If you need a moment of quiet contemplation, Emphasis on the quiet part. At least usually. Let's head upstairs. Okay. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. Hey, buddy. I am at your service, Captain. Uh, thanks. Good for now. Uh, I'm keeping up. Other rooms, I'm uh, supposing. And miss. Ah, uh, not bad. Liking the equipment. So, this is the bar. Usually, no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. 
Right. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. All the uh, Constellation members then. Like I was saying before, I'm still not sure. But it will be good to have somewhere to stay. At least until I figure this all out. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. Alright. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Yeah. I'll have an answer for her. Wow. <gasps> Not bloody bad. Is this all real wood? So, this is how the other half lives. I could get used to this. Should I, though? I need funds no matter what. In case where that watch came from. Were they expecting to get someone new? Or just a spear laying about? Safe as well. What are you doing, Wyatt? This isn't you. But it could be. They've got credits. They've got a need for... Well... Me. It's not a forever thing. You're not signing your life away. Just a job. A job with uh, perks. Roof over your head. Maybe a little bit of extra protection. I'd be dumb to pass it up. To Sarah then, or maybe after a little liquid courage. Yeah, that'll do. All right. A lot of unique pieces here. Trust if I've ever seen it. I wouldn't fly with Argos. All right, what have we got? Yeah, good lager will do. All right, time to go. Survey table. Available to you. I, uh, 
I am. And on that note, Sarah... Got something for me? Yeah. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? No, uh... I think I've made a choice. Still, wouldn't mind picking your brain. You know about the artifacts. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Yeah. What about you? How do you fit into this with Constellation? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. All right. I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Vanguard. Right. So you're saying... Other people might have these artifacts. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Right. I'm sure you know it, but legwork never really pays off the way you'd expect. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Traveling together. Right, well, what do I get out of this anyway? Constellation have a salary. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Right. Okay. You and me. Until we get that... artifact. Probation. I've been through it before. I understand. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Yeah, I've got you. I'm a careful lad. You don't need to worry. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Right. There's our people people I'd like to see. They're here as well. Huh. Do you mind if I... Thanks. Now I, uh... don't know the place all that well. You just plug in wherever we need to go into that, uh, watch system and we'll get there. Oh, and just in case there's any trouble, I'm packing. So we'll be good. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. John? All right, got it. But while we're traveling, do you mind if I ask you a little bit more about yourself? 
I like to know who I'm flying with. No, it's fine. Go ahead. What's your, uh, area of expertise? You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Yeah. Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> You'll be happy to know that I don't exactly have a habit of eating weird things. Anyway, beside all that, what do you do for fun? Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. All right. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. Oh. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. You know, I do get a drummer vibe. Anyway, this is messed up ahead, right? It's what we're looking for. Now... Vanguard, right? Uh, that'll be a guy. Let's, uh, get this done, yeah? G'day. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Why? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Yeah, something like that. Oh, uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with a Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Yeah, I appreciate the pitch, but I'm here on Constellation business, first and foremost. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. re, -enlist. re -enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Right. So, uh, sorry. Why are you both shitting on Sol? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Sure. And this, uh, Moera. Who is he? Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. So, old school then. Right. Well, we'll have a chat to him. I'm sure we can make a good offer. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. Okay. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Yeah. Bar and a spaceport. Sounds like home to me. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. Yeah. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. Sure it is. So, Sidonia. Mars. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Well, it's gonna see us. But, uh, hey. Before we shoot off world, there's something I need to do. Someone I need to check in on. You can tag along if you want. But my feelings won't be hurt if you don't want to. It's you and me from here out. There's uh, two people. Pioneer Tower. It's in the residential district. I'd like to see them before we go. Make sure that they're safe. 
And there's only one way to really do that. It's with my two eyeballs. Promise I'll make it quick. In and out. Then we can shoot off world. To Mars. You know, I've, uh, never been to the cradle. Soul. Heard a lot of good. Heard a lot of bad. I know a lot of it's a graveyard. But still, Fred Planet. I've read more than one poem about it. Inspiring place. For all the hate that you see seems to give it. Anyway. Residential district. This should take us right there. Let's see. I have a feeling today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? Uh... Yeah. Weirdly optimistic. Alright. That's easier than I thought. Pioneer Tower. That can't be it. I think it is. Got a call? Someone's power kept going out? You know what it was? A heat leech as long as my leg. <sighs> leech? Maybe that's what's causing the brownouts. I'll have to see if it's affecting them. Okay. There's, um, something I should tell you before we head up. My folks live in this tower. Never seen it myself. It's nicer than I thought it was going to be. I, um, ran into some trouble back home. Neon is home. It was home for them too for a long while they got caught up in my shit this is safety for them though security it's a new life they they don't remember a lot and they don't sound like me there's a guy I know expert worked in witness protection Gave them new identities, new lives. They, they still recognize me, but they, well, their memories are shaky. Let's just say that. And they might sound a little weird. Judge me all you like, but it's kept them safe so far. I think that's what we're after. All aboard. Very nice. Yuri, you've outdone yourself. This has got to be in. Okay. It's fine. They're fine. Dad. G'day. It's Wyatt. What? Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Uh, no need. Oh, my God. Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Uh, not that we're not thrilled to see you, son, but I, I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. I... Is everything all right? I was under contract. That's... Not a thing anymore, but it's not all bad news. I got a promotion. Constellation. Big time. Now, now, it's just with our family, the news isn't always great, yeah. but... Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? It's the truth. My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Sure did. Appreciate it, Ma. But how do you know about Constellation? You never talked about it? Well, I know what I've read about in the news. 
The explorers. Yeah. Years ago, there was a stretch where Constellation was in fashion. People would gossip about them all the time. I, I must say it's been a while since I've heard anything about them, though. Glad to know they're still around. Sure are. Uh, we'll, um, see how this whole Constellation thing plays out. Oh, in life you need to celebrate the victories you get. Because you don't know when the next one's coming. Yeah. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. My room. Uh, although that's how you left it. Easy, honey. Let the boy catch his breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. Thanks, Dad. Feel free to grab anything you need. I will. I was hoping to just check in, you know? I still can't get over you being here. And it's not even Mother's Day. So, I gotta ask, is there anyone special in your life? I... With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. Not exactly the best time. But no, nothing to report yet. Just so you know, your dad cannot wait to be a grandpa. <sighs> So don't keep him or me waiting too long. No. I, I know, I know. I won't get into more right now. Well, now I see that it's true. Mothers have an irresistible urge to interfere in their children's love life. I know you didn't live in this apartment long, but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, uh. but you can stay here no matter the answers. I could do without the uh, third degree. Mother's prerogative. Just be thankful I don't got the bright lights and interrogation chair. <laughs> yeah. Anything you want to talk about, dear? Ah, uh, you and Dad. What are you both up to nowadays? Now that we're both retired, you mean? I, I keep trying to push your father to do things. Dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art. But he's just happy as a clam reading in his chair for hours. Wants to know the history of every little thing. That's... It's nice to have time to do both, though. That's not bad. It's good to know you're both happy. You're welcome anytime. And I mean anytime. Yeah. Regina, the president of... Oh, I know all about her. Leave them well, to it for now. Do the whole report from scratch because she I've gave me the wrong never been here before. You worked on that for days. I'm gonna check I this know. room though. I swear next election. Make I sure it's safe. Know. I can't stand her. Are we looking for solutions or sympathy? What? Oh, what's this about? Fred from the poker group said 90% of all marital strife would go away if you just know whether you need to offer help None or of this a friendly is ear. Fred's a wise man. I suppose sympathy. <sighs> then that Regina is a monster. There ought to be a law. Damn straight. I'll take that. What's this? Uh, typical. Thanks, Mum. It's different than it was when I was growing up. It's all props to help them believe. Weird. A life I didn't have. It's safe. Room looks great, Ma. Real great. Dad, a word? Just while, uh, Mum's grabbing stuff. I still can't believe it. Constellation. The stories make them seem so exotic, so, well, romantic, almost. Uh, How is it for real? You liking it? It's, uh, interesting, to say the least. I don't know if it's really for me, Dad, but it beats mining. Well, give it time. It's a huge transition. And Constellation's one of the only groups I know still diving into the real mysteries of the universe. Pretty exciting, if you ask me. 
I've got some news of my own. Oh. You are now officially looking at a retiree. Taught my final class last Thursday. The faculty threw me a party and everything. It's too bad you weren't here then. You could have had some cake. Congratulations. That's great news. But, uh, you told me life. Life's like a classroom, right? So, looks like you're never going to really retire. Look at that smart mouth. Where on earth could you have gotten that from? <laughs> <laughs> Enough about that. Anything you want to talk about before you have to go? I mean, stay. Stay as long as you like, but I imagine you're all excited to get to discovering. How's everything been around here? Nothing weird? No other visitors other than me, right? You need anything? You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? Yeah. <sighs> I'd like to say we'll pay you back the money you sent home. Don't but... worry. Well, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. More than you know. As long as you're safe. How's everything else going? Retirement's treating me well, but there are some days I almost missed the class from. Don't say anything to your mom about this, but... She got some work done at Enhance. She keeps looking younger every day, I tell her. Not that I mind. Right. <sighs> and what about plans? Ma mentioned vacation. Planning a proper, honest-to-goodness vacation. Huh. Nothing too fancy. I've been promising your mom a trip for years, and I got no excuses now. Your mother has been sending me links all day about such and such deals and excursions. Sounds right. It'll be good to get out. I'm sure. Hey, uh, take care, both of you. You've got that same blank expression as my students in the classroom. Yeah. Well, let's leave it at that, yeah? Anything good to watch tonight? I mean, I want to watch it sometime. But I want Let's something light. You go. don't know where that is? I, uh... No, Goodbye, I moved them easy. to the Maybe bottom shelf muzzling ages me? ago. What? You should pay attention. That little Ashta cracks me up. And it's just cute. It's funny. It'll take them a little while to notice. They're, uh... They're a little worse than I thought. Procedures... It's messed with their minds. Dad's been retired for years. He's never worked here before. It's his new memory. His new life. You're safe though. That's what matters. All right. Sidonia then. Mars. Yeah, spaceport's the way to go. Look, I wouldn't mind picking up some equipment before we do leave. I've got credits in my pocket. And they're burning to be spent. Just need firearms. A lot of firearms. This line of work is looking more dangerous. I'd like to be prepared. Arsenal. That sounds about right. I'll just, uh, dip in and out. Could always pick up some extra stock for you, too. No idea what the UC's got on offer these days. Excited to see. Oh, right. Now we're talking. The rifle's looking good. Mm. Hey there, uh... Interested in a little bit of your stock? You're here because you need something you can connect with. Something you could count on. Am I right? You could say that. Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. It is my absolute pleasure to assist you with any purchases or questions you may have. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. I hope so. Actually, I'm intrigued. What would you recommend? Well, that's not a simple question, is it? It all depends on who's asking. Me? Hmm. I have my own personal favorites, but I wouldn't presume to know yours. Tell me, 
Were you to find yourself in the unfortunate position of needing to use a weapon, what suits you best? Something up close and personal? Rapid fire? Is precision a consideration? Let's say, uh, rapid. But you know what? At the end of the day, doesn't really matter unless I'm the one that's standing. Ah, yes. Well, if efficiency is a priority, then you really can't go wrong with allied armaments. They've been supplying the UC for years, and for good reason. All right. Let me have a look at your stock. Please, take a look. You know, got my eye on a maelstrom over there. Modified one. Long barrel, suppressor. I'll take it. Cheers. There's nothing, nothing that ensures personal safety and security the way a firearm can. Amen. All right. Got my goods. Let's get going. So, back to the spaceport. So what do you know about Mars? Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be concise. Trailer. I wonder where this will all lead. Well, hopefully to another artifact. But, if it's a bust, we'll chase other leads. I'm sure they're out there. Alright. We've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the nerd. I think it's the, uh, proximity. Stuff close to you. Moves fast, or, well, makes it seem like you're going faster. Out there, in the black, there ain't much to reference. Frontier's smoother, at least. Ah, oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Beautiful. Yeah. Flame, water, looks like a mast. Shiny, watery thing. Artistic interpretation isn't exactly my thing. Anyway, Frontier's waiting. Oh, I was looking at getting some more missile pods installed. I don't know if they've had time. Damn it. Scientist out in front of that. Doesn't look like it. Security scanners, chemical sniffers. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. No, they're uneasy. Might have been 20 years. But they haven't forgotten. And the collective hasn't either. Hey. No luck on the pods. It's a shame. Next time. Head on up. Time to get this ship moving. On it. Just need to get suited up, and then we'll be away. Just, uh, hang on. There we go. Got my final pieces over there. You're looking, uh, comfy. Your regular position. I'll make sure takeoff's nice and smooth. Okay. Yeah. You got a suit close by, I trust. I'm not, uh, lecturing. Just pays to be safe as a captain. All right. Here we go. Okay. Everything's looking green. Fuel's good. Let's get out of here. All right, Sarah, hold on. Scan a 
away. We're all clear. And we're done. Welcome to Mars. Welcome indeed. There he is. Old Ares. Alright. Get that landing site sorted. and easy. We're on the night side. Dark out. Gotta need suits on the surface. I'll just be grabbing my helmet. There we go. I'll let you get, uh, you get sorted. I'll see you down below. Got our contact locked in. I should be able to find them no trouble. Alright. We're, we're here. We should definitely stock up on supplies at the exchange. Exchange? Oh, sounds like a plan. Good to go then. Alright. Where to? Straight ahead. All right. Big operation. Industrial, just like you said. Keep a light on for safety. All right. That's our point. Okay. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. Leeches. So, what's this going to run? If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Five oh. figures? Five? I snow linger. Fine. Do it. Not a fan of a big bill. Find me when it's Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Oh, makes sense. A lot of radiation when you don't have a proper atmosphere. Pressurized. Oh, the pressure's good. I'll lose the helmet for now. Stow your suit as well if you need to. I'm gonna keep mine close though. Just feel a little safer with some extra protection. Humanity's stepping stone to the stars. Was. Don't know if it still is. Got eyes on us, let's keep eyes on them. Found a clutch of heat leeches, uh, reading in the utility section the other day. <sighs> Not gonna be able to get that image out of my head for a while. Can imagine. 120. This is bullshit. It's not bad. I got a wife and kids at home. We can't wait almost two months for a job that may not be in the Hey, hey, I get it. Broken spear. It's out of my hands. You can take it up with corporate. Sorry, but I have to get back to work. Come on, forget it. Let's get out of here. Maybe it's not too late to catch a ride back home. You're, you're right. Screw this. Trouble in paradise. On that Sidonia hazard bay. We'll find now where's else. our guy? Just to uh, it turns out it was just another deep one. Okay. Bar will be a good start. I'll check in. No one seems worried. Must be regular. Assist me. No reaction. It is now 
Must be a usual happening. You offered me a nice cushy office job, but I'm making double out here in the Sidonia mines. Joke's on there. Great for you, buddy. Weird. G'day. We get a lot of new faces passing through here. That's so. I'm looking for a vanguard. Named Muera. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Right. Well, look. I really need to track him down. Do you know his patrol route? Oh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. Okay. He's got a voice that carries. So? Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? You, uh... <laughs> you want me to pay him out? Look, he could be hurt. He could need help. You can't put a price on that, can you? Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? It's hard for all of us, isn't it? Look, I know you're gonna tell me eventually. Why not just save yourself some time and tell me now? Ugh, you're just annoying enough that this is my work. What matters to you more? The money or his life? Yeah, I'll get your point. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Fair. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love. <laughs> Singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. So, Venus then. Planet hopping. Let's, uh, get a move on before that tab gets too high. Honey, everyone knows the hopping. I'm glad I, got I thought this, this might be simple. I mean, we were talking about patrols. I figured it would be local. This is, uh, not exactly local. Same star system, though, so that counts. What we'll be shooting past Earth. Sure you don't want to stop in? Didn't think so. How we go? Let's suit up. You know, I've heard the shipyards here aren't half bad. Wouldn't mind, uh, upgrading at some point. Not that there's anything wrong with the frontier, it's perfectly fine. It's just... a little bigger than I'm used to. In some ways. Prefer something sleeker. Faster. Less, uh, noticeable. Right now, that sticks out like a sore thumb. Both visual and EM. I'd really rather that wasn't the case. Anyway, I don't see a harbor master. If we're fast, we might be able to check out before we incur costs. So let's go. Oh, Venus is local, so it's not going to be a grav jump. Get us on autopilot. Gonna lock down the front just for safety. Keep that suit close. I don't know how she does it. Calm. Explosive decompression ain't fun. No way I'm flying without a suit. Madness. What can you do? There won't be any convincing her. I'm sure enough of that. Alright, systems are good. Fuel still fine. Hold on. The scent was smooth. I'll set us in on autopilot. Both have a bit of a rest. 
Sound good? I'll take that as a yes. All right. out here by Venus anyway. No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. You catch our vanguard ship anywhere on scans? No. No other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. I doubt they know where our vanguard is. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. So we need to get to the beacon without being attacked. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Low and slow. Okay. Got it running quiet. As quiet as can be. Shields are down. Weapons are off. Let's go. Gonna use a bit of speed. The signature's low enough. I think we can make it without being noticed. Oh, great serpent. Bless this communion that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. Cursed. That'll be us. The scanners haven't picked us up, though. Frontier's doing good. It'll take me a moment to get shields up. Weapons online if we need to, so... Hope this works. Just, um... Maybe suit up just in case. I'm tempted to boost. Here'd be a small reading. We got light. They'll be able to make visual. Going for it. Come on. Easy does it. Here we go. Okay. I think we're good. Easing in. That should do it. See. There we go. Well, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. So, trouble. Oh, we weren't going to be able to avoid it. At least Varun's been off our ass for now. We're just going to have to slink away. Low and slow. Another chance for a nap. Sure, you know better than anyone. What happened to Earth? The cradle, anyway. Why'd we leave it? Oh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. 
That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the Exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Not everyone got off. Well, let's see if our vanguard's still in that star yard. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Got all the power back online. Ready for anything. Oh, let's boost it, get close in. If we're noticed, we're noticed. There we go. Easing off. Got a docking port here. Gonna get us closer. Easy now. There we go. Alright, gonna have to spin her around. That should do it. And... There. Okay. Easing off. And... We got capture. All looks good. Alright. You think their O2 is still good? It's hard to get a reading. I'll bring a helmet, just in case. Hope for our vanguard's sake there is. Up and out, huh? Yeah. Alright. As far as first jobs go, Constellation's made for a lot of travel. New Atlantis, Sidonia, Venus, and now Luna. Part of me thinks it's all just a goose chase. That artifact is just one of three, and that's it. Maybe Sarah's right. Maybe there are more out there, waiting to be found by folks in the know. But all that aside, there's something even more valuable that Constellation might be able to offer. Security. If not for me, then for my folks. They're taken to their new lives well, but they're just not the same. The new memories, the cover, the lies. I feel horrible. But it's kept them alive. Kept them afloat. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Hey. Eh?